Inside of today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a 15 win challenge guide. The championship challenge is finally back around. It kind of lost its hype last year, but this time around, a lot of people have been asking me. So I'm going to be giving you guys the best compositions, tips, all of that good stuff. Also, there's 2,000 coins to win by the end of this and also 90 credits. So some good rewards on the way. Let's jump right into it. All right, guys, to so start off with the first map, we have open zone, hot zone. So for this map, the best composition in my eyes is going to be Poco and Meg 100% percent of the time but it's up to you with your third pick it can be a b because b is just really good at shutting down everyone on this map it could be a gus or a max or something like that so if you're looking for the best builds the best gear star powers and gadgets i've already done a video on that previously so i'll try not to touch on it too much uh, but yeah so for this map this is where i use the capo with poco it's really good at keeping your teammates alive a lot of the times and also because of the range you know you're not going to be cycling your supers too much but poco is just really good in hot zone in general so easy just to consistently hit shots and really easy just to get time on a zone a lot of the times. So that's why Meg is so strong as well. The combination is just so broken. Meg, of course, it may take a little while to get her super sometimes, uh, but once she does get it, it's like 8k HP, 7k HP on top of a zone. It could take so long for the enemies to take you down in that mech, so you could just get so much time in the zone. And then, as I mentioned, B is just good at shutting everything down. A good B on this map can literally 1v3. She's just good against everything. The walls are already down, so of course b is going to be really strong so in terms of the next best pick sensor we've got the likes of bell who can just be really good because it's nice and open Stu, really good with the speed zone turret just good against pretty much everything uh, we have amber as well crow two really good brothers crow's really good at gaining back control amber's just really good at causing a lot of pressure with her super and then the likes of lou and lola if you're feeling a little bit more fruity but i just think for the first round just keep it plain and simple poco and meg should just be able to carry you to literally every single victory it's not too hard to play any of these brothers especially poco literally anyone can pick up and play him so that's going to be the first map let's hop into the next one okay so now moving on to set number two we have a gem grab a double swoosh so for double swoosh i think it's pretty simple in terms of the mid for me it's either a penny or a genie it just depends on whether you're actually good at hitting pulls or if you just want to be a little bit more simple and go for the penny so the reason why penny's so good in mid on this map is because she's just really good at bursting down anyone that wants to flank down the left hand side not only that she pairs really well with a bow of course getting that super totem it's just always been good on double swoosh and pairing that with a brother like gene or penny you're just going to get free super every single time and then once the bow gets his mines he's going to want to throw the mine straight into the middle break open the grass and the middle then it's going to be really easy to scout the opposition gem carriers so of course that that penny gene bow synergy is just really strong overall and then with your right hand lane then so you've got a lot of options you can pick on this map down the right you can pick otis because he himself can counter just tanks on his own but his gadget is just really good at scouting the grass so you combine this with the vision gear and the speed gear it's going to be pretty easy for you to push up and then you've got the gadget as well to you know in case they have the cheesy bow strategy that gadget's going to be able to destroy the totem from behind the walls so yeah penny's really good as well you get your turret behind any wall you really want to and then if you face off against an enemy gene you can use the gadget and then gene's just going to pull the gadget instead of you so that's why penny is just so good in the middle in terms of other picks then amber just really solid on double swoosh on either lane you guys know the gist with amber being able to just destroy the grass with her super is really valuable for your team the likes of sam can just keep running in over and over again be down the left hand lane tara if you're looking for something a little bit more easy to play a uh, gray spike and crow can also be pretty strong so that's gonna be a double swoosh pretty plain and simple let's hop into the next one so now moving on to set number three we have brubble sneaky fields so you guys know with sneaky fields tanks are just so strong and because it's not draft you just want to go with tanks pretty much every single time so for me in the middle it's down to probably three brothers but i'll probably go for two brothers like max or a poco poco is of course just going to synergize so well with two tanks so if you want to go with the ash and the sam at synergy it's just going to destroy pretty much everyone with the poco in the middle but then again if you want to go with like a hybrid combination if you're not comfortable with sam or ash because sometimes they can be pretty hard to play as tanks you know for me ash and sam are actually some of my worst brothers so i'd probably rather go with like a max and like an m's max and m's combination is so strong m's is going to be able to shut down a lot of the tanks on their own but with the speed gear or just with max speeds you know m's just becomes such a huge threat in terms of other picks on this map you've got the likes of b i've already mentioned in the middle pretty strong cole can be really good at just scouting the lanes in general but still takes a little bit of a higher skill cap cole to play on this map uh, Nita and spike pretty solid lanes overall 
uh, pretty good at shutting down tanks and also just pretty good into everything of course any brawler with the vision gear is going to be so insane on this map so if you're looking to counter tanks go with like i don't know like a need to a vision gear or a spike with vision gear you know it might sound insane but a vision gear is just broken on every brawler on a grassy map so you guys need to try that out uh buzz and otis as well other good picks you know otis is just good everywhere you know you could literally play otis everywhere probably even in knockout and bounty otis is used so if you want to use otis vision gear speed you can use the gadget as well it's pretty good in the lane just to scout uh, the enemy so for me these are the best compositions but if i were you i'll just be trying to run down the opponent so quickly with those tanky compositions so now moving on to set number four we have pit stop heist so for this map pit stop has always been a really tanky map but more so now than ever in the meta it's literally a base race map so for me you have to have two aggressive brawlers uh two tanky brawlers basically and then one like a hybrid slash defense brawler so for me the best one's going to be primo and daryl for offense you know primo you can still use in defense as well kind of because of how good his jump is against other tanks uh, but then you have like that nita or an otis or something like that that can definitely shut down tanks on its own but then of course with a nita it's going to be really good because once you do defend with nita you can then get the uh, bear onto the enemy safe as well with hyper bears so just overall nita's just really good on this map i would say there's such a bulletproof composition overall uh, but of course if you're not the best at other tanks you know could go with a bull as well could go with a sam and buzz all of these tanks are just so incredibly strong so in terms of tips for this map then so for me pit stop it's all about just staying aggressive unless you know it's a do or die scenario where you just have to defend as a tank just don't bother defending you've got to leave it to the player that is playing that hybrid brutal so you know like Vanita, for example uh, a lot of times you just got to leave it you just got to keep the aggression normally it's the team that keeps the most aggression you know even if you don't get the uh the, any damage on the safe as long as you're cycling devs keeping their pressure up you're going to win the game the majority of the time as long as you're not doing anything completely stupid like i don't know leaving a jesse turret on a safe or a bull with berserk on a safe you know of course you got to take it by scenario by scenario but in terms of uh the way i play it especially in power league with a Daryl, you just want to be as aggressive as possible. You don't want to be chasing the enemies back constantly into spawn. So that's going to be pit stop. Let's jump into the final one. Okay, so jumping into the fifth and final set, we have Knockout, Gold Arm, Gulch. So you guys should know the cheesy strategy by now. And if you don't, it, uh, it's, it's, it's painful to say it, but it's just near enough unbeatable. You can actually use this composition everywhere like bow jackie gray or you just use gray and jackie everywhere and it's just so hard to counter counter as the enemies so if you guys know the cheesy strategy all you have to do is place a bow totem in spawn make sure your gray has super and then you well the gray and the jackie can just pretty much go into anyone and get a kill all the time again i don't want to keep suggesting these cheesy compositions but because it is a 15 win challenge and you will unlock the monthly qualifier uh you know i've got to show you the best compositions the ones that win so hopefully this gets nerfed in the future but for now it has to be the number one composition of course if you want to try and counter this to be honest you know i haven't really found too many ways to counter it the one way on this map that i actually have tried quite a few times if you want to use the new mandy gadget i think it's called cookie crumbs and what you can do you can sneak off down the side down the left or the right hand side whichever is closer use the speed gear and the cookie crumbs gadget makes it so you can shoot through walls so what you can do you can pretty much just run down the left hand side and shoot through the wall destroy the bow totem and then of course it makes it hard for them to get gray super and what you can keep doing is destroying the bow totem as much as possible because gray without the super and jackie without the super you should be able to slowly chip them down but yeah unfortunately it's a, a pretty bulletproof composition let me know if you find any counters to it in the comment section but it's just so strong if you don't want to go with a cheesy strategy uh you could go with of course you know other brothers like gene piper brock grom gus you know these are good in draft when you can ban grow uh, gra gray sorry uh but overall it's it is pretty rough it's definitely <laughs> you just have to go with its composition unfortunately i think i'm still gonna run a cheesy strategy so that's gonna be set number five all right guys it's gonna be it for today's video i hope you enjoyed this one so i think pretty simple in terms of compositions in terms of strategies so again i'm gonna quickly run through it so we have uh we have the likes of uh, open zone 
it's pretty simple it's just really open you've just got to hit your shots basically and just keep on the zone as much as possible double swoosh it's all about scouting the grass make sure you use some vision gear on every single brawler speed gear as well so you know where the enemies are uh sneaker fields as well you want to be using vision gear as much as possible it's such an underrated gear i think it's the best one in the game for me uh, in terms of pit stop just make sure you're keeping up the aggro using those tankier brawlers and making sure you're getting some consistent damage and then the final wall the final one gold on gulch you know unfortunately you got to use a cheesy strategy maybe you guys can try and find a different way to win but you know it's just so strong so that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time